I had to take a nice long sip of my mimosa before we dive into this topic. Since I, I haven't really been around for the last year or so, I've been busy. But, you know, I've been watching from the outside, you know, participating here, participating there, talking to my friends, blah, 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 blah. And I would just like to say, y'all, that booktube is not a competition. I know, I know, I know. My whole title says booktube's a competition. I know it does. I know. That's because some of y'all like to try and make it a competition. And by making it a competition, some of y'all then like to get stressed out about it and then be anxious about it and then go on Twitter and whine about it and then be like, I don't have no friends and I haven't, I can't read like you guys read. Well then don't, then literally don't. Like booktube is supposed to be about reading books. That's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be about reading and reviewing books. Now, most of booktube doesn't even review books. So topic for another day. <laughs> Most of booktube is just reading books, doing book tags, doing TBRs, doing wrap ups and doing hauls or unhauls. Um, and honestly, that's just really for the views. It's for the views. They doing it for the tubes. Okay. So like, don't get discouraged. Okay. All you have to do is read a book. You can read one book a month and that's fine. Like just because your friend can read 250 books a month or 250 books a year, 25 books a month, 10 books a month, five books a month, it doesn't matter. It truly does not matter. The point of booktube is to read books. It does not matter how, how long those books are. It doesn't matter if they're graphic novels. It doesn't matter if they're mangas. It does not matter if it's poetry. Is it bound in a book? Does it swipe on a Kindle? The point is to read books, okay? The point is not to come on here and be like, well, I'm a loser and it's not my fault that I can't afford books and to then attack other people for what they are able to do. Because what I sometimes, sometimes see people do is then attack other people saying, well, they're able to buy all these books. I'm not able to buy all these books. Well, they're able to go to the library. I can't go to the library. They can do this. They can do this. They can do that. It doesn't matter what they can do. It doesn't. It only matters what you can do. And what can you do for your section of booktube? There's so many corners of booktube that you can be involved in without having to try and tear somebody down. And also like, like my good friends on booktube, they're in, they're in the hundreds of books read a year club. Okay. They are, those are my good friends on booktube. I'm in the, did I finish a book this month club? <laughs> and they're like, India White, what do you do this? And I'm like, sometimes. <laughs> but the point is that at the end of the day, do you like talking about books? Do you like discussing books? Then that's all you really need to know. That's all you really need to do. Like you don't have to compare yourself to someone else. It's not a race. It's not a race on who can read the most books. It's not a competition. It's not a competition for how beautiful your shelves are. I mean, look at these, they're, they're empty. They're, you can't even see them all. But the point is that they're empty over there, okay? Because I have all these shelves and they aren't even full. Not even close to being full and I mostly read on e-reader. I don't even really buy physical books. I need to fix that. I have to start buying some physical books. So there might be some hauls. I don't know guys. I don't know. But the point is, uh, I keep saying that, is to do you boo. Don't compare yourself to others. Be you as the booktuber you are. Not the booktuber you think you should be. Not the booktuber you think you think people want to see. It's the booktuber you are. Trust me. I'm not saying it's easy to do. 
I would be a liar if I said it was easy to do because it's not. I'm pretty sure when we all started on booktube we all tried to be the booktuber people thought people <laughs> we tried to be the booktuber we thought people wanted to see. Okay the cute little girl with the cute makeup, bold lipstick, colorful aesthetic bookshelves, fairy lights, all those things. All those things we thought we needed to be to have a space on booktube. That in order to get hundreds of thousands of subscribers, which in the booktube world takes probably longer than the normal YouTube world just because it is such a niche subject. I mean, it's about books like I swear most of the world doesn't even read, but like apparently people do, but <laughs> so it does take a while. And then if you're watching me and you're a people, you're a person of color, a people of color, if you're a person of color, it might take you a little bit longer unless you stir up the pot of drama. Okay. Now, also to become big on YouTube, you don't have to discuss your mental health. A lot of people in the booktube world use their mental health as a discussion topic so people will view it. I, I'm i not going to say everybody talks about their mental health on YouTube so that way other people can see themselves in them. I'm pretty sure most people do it for clout um, because it makes... It gives people a reason to look, mainly not even as supportive individuals, okay? It's because people are gonna go watch your videos because they're nosy. And then they're going to leave a toxically positive comment under your video. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they support you in anything. The people who support you show up in your DMs and on the side. So always remember that the people who support you show up in other ways, okay? Random people will always put a heart, a like, a comment or something like, oh, thank you for sharing this, you know, it made me feel better about myself, um, blah, 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 but how has that person support? Have you seen that person on any other one of your videos? Any other conversation? If you have it, it's because they were there to see how to be nosy. That's just the the short, that's just the truth of it. I'm sorry, like it is. So you don't have to do things for clout. Sure, you might not see the astronomical growth of just doing book review, just talking about books, you know, um, but people do really well on wrap ups and TBRs, all the things, things that are solely centered around books and then book tags. You don't have to. And I think some new booktubers need to know that, need to understand that. And I think some old booktubers like myself need to know that. I've now been on booktube for four years. You can see I've had minimal growth, minimal pieces of value. But during that time, I've also done a lot of things in my life that are not all on the internet so <laughs> um so booktube is a hobby and it's not a job so sometimes i had to step back and remember that um when i wasn't producing the content that i wanted to make or doing um or reading the books that i wanted to read because sometimes i would go a whole month without reading a single book sometimes i would go a month with only reading one book it all depends on what was going on in my life and I couldn't help that. It's just life. Life happens and booktube is not life. Booktube is a special place on the internet that we come to enjoy. But it's not who we are or what we are. It is a part of us. It's a part of you. And reading should always make you happy. I mean, even when the book crushes your soul and you're like, why are they dead? Or what's happening? Or why am I crying? The whole thing of reading should make you happy. That's what's important. Okay? So find a way to be happy and be yourself. When you do that, you will find the people who keep coming back to your videos or your comments or whose videos you watch and you comment and they respond to your comments and who you see on Instagram and Twitter and then who you just fall into a relationship with and then you're happier for it. 
and it all works out. So have fun with booktube. Do what you want, but don't try and make it into a competition because then you're stressed and then you're not having fun. Okay? I know it's a little bit more timid than I thought it was going to be, but I think you all are amazing. So stay beautiful, my friends. And don't forget to follow me on all the social medias. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you never miss anything. Um, and until next time, keep turning the pages.